Bonjour à tous. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today's lesson is going to be about object pronouns and le passé composé. Before we get started talking about object pronouns and le passé composé, we first need to finish learning those object pronouns. So we had already learned most of them. We had only not learned two. So we're going to talk about those two pronouns, and then we're going to jump into what those pronouns look like in the passé composé. So while we are getting started, we're going to make sure that we draw on our note sheet this little familiar triangle. And then we're going to go through and fill in our triangle with all of the pronouns that we had previously learned plus our new pronouns. So let's start with the ones that we had learned previously. Previously, we had learned m, t, nu, and vu. And we had also learned l, la, le, and l apostrophe. We had learned lui and leur to say him or her or them. And now this is where we're going to add in our new pronouns. So our new pronouns are i and on. And that's going to finish off our direct and indirect object pronouns, i and on. Let's talk about these two over on the side over here. So first off, let's talk about i. I is used when you are talking about places. And so i in French just means there. And so you would use it to say, yep, I had gone there, or he had gone there, et cetera, et cetera. Our last one is en. And en is used with quantities. And in their sentence, we're not going to say I had bought quantities of something. We would say I had bought some of it. And so our pronouns, just to finish us off, we have there for e and some for all. So now that we have our full triangle of pronouns completed, let's talk about what it looks like in the passé composé. So it's quite easy. I'm going to switch my paper here so we've got a new blank canvas. And so the main thing to remember with pronouns in the passé composé is that they're going to go before your helping verb. So I'm going to move my paper up so we can maximize it. So let's start off with just a sentence in the passé composé. Let's say, j'ai acheté les crayons. So I had bought pencils. So j'ai acheté les crayons. We can replace les crayons with les because it's plural. So now we need to take our direct object pronoun, because remember it answers the question what. So j'ai acheté les crayons. We're going to take les and put it before our helping verb. Remember we have our helping verb and we have our past participle. So your sentence, once you transform it, is going to end up being je les a acheté. And remember, when we have that S and that A, it makes that Z sound. So, je les ai acheté. So, our les gets transformed and put right in front of our helping verb. Let's do another example using one of those verbs that we had just learned. Let's say I went to school. So, je suis allé à l'école. Now, I am not going to make that agreement because I'm sure that there are some boys that are watching this. Just know that if you are a girl, you have to add that agreement onto the end there. All right, so we are going to end up replacing a l'école with our new pronoun e because we're saying I had gone there. So now when we replace our pronoun, we're going to end up writing our sentence je e suis allé à l'école. 
and madame cannot spell today. So when we have vowels next to each other, because remember these are both vowels, remember we take off that E and it becomes an apostrophe. So your finalized sentence is J Sri Zale. So J Sri Zale. And remember that Aleko got replaced. So I had went there. So now that we have our placement all done and we have the two pronouns that we've learned, e and all, let's talk about agreement. When we have items or objects in the passé composé, they your helping verb or your past participle, not your helping verb, your past participle has to agree with that object pronoun. And I'll talk about what I mean by that. So what I mean is that you're helping your direct object pronoun or your indirect object pronoun has to agree with your help with your past participle. So let's do an example. We're going to say tu as gagné la compétition. Tu as gagné la compétition. For some reason, madame cannot write today. So, tu as gagné la compétition. When we have our sentence just like this, there is no object, so we do not make an agreement with the passé composé avoir. But if I take la compétition and I replace it with la, gagné now has to agree with la. So, in the passé composé, it would our sentence end up being tu... La gagné. And then an extra E on the end for la compétition. Let's do that again, and I'm going to write that in a different color so it's a little bit easier to see. Let's do one with we had lost the competition. So we're going to say nous avons perdu la compétition. So, nous avons perdu la compétition. We are going to replace la compétition with la. So, in our passé composé, la is going to go before avant and perdu is going to get an e onto the end. So, let's rewrite our sentence. So, we have new L'avant, remember that L apostrophe, perdu. Nous l'avons perdu. So we had lost it. So basically, let's do a quick recap of everything that we had just gone over. So with the passé composé, when you have direct object pronouns, so this is our recap. So our recap, we learned E means there. En means some. We learned that object pronouns, so OPs, object pronouns, go before the helping verb. And we learned that there's an agreement if the object pronoun goes before the helping verb. So I know that's kind of wordy. So there's an agreement when and only when the object pronoun, the object pronoun is before the verb. So whenever your object pronoun goes before the verb, it is going to have an agreement, regardless if it's passé composé avoir or passé composé être. So let's do one last example now that we know all of that stuff and we've got our recap up there. Let's do exemple to say I had bought the apple. So we're going to say I bought the apple, so it's j'ai acheté. La pomme. 
So I bought the apple, j'ai acheté la pomme. La pomme is what's going to get replaced, and we are going to replace it with la. So now, in our sentence, in our finalized sentence, we are going to have je l'ai acheté with an extra e on the end for la pomme. So hopefully this is helpful with this recap to have up there. I know this can be kind of confusing, so we're going to go over this and practice this a lot. But hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. Main thing that you need to remember is that e means there, en means some, and your object pronouns are going to go before your helping verb in the passé composé. C'est tout et à plus.